All right, everybody. So this is a little bit of a sad segment because a friend of the channel is going through some rough times as far as the platform we exist on and rely on for our incomes is concerned. You see, YouTube is a fickle, fickle bitch. A very fickle bitch. While it is an unprecedented platform when it comes to video sharing and the ability for just any old person to build a career and, uh, you know, make a life for themselves, it is also very buggy and has so many people using it that they require bots and algorithms to manage the moderation of the platform. This means that there are a lot of alarm bells that never go off when they should. As we know, there's a lot of hate speech, misinfo, and other otherwise objectionable anti-TOS things that are being fully monetized and going super viral on YouTube. Not only that, but YouTube is pushing as ads, like literal TOS breaking ads on YouTube. Um, despite that, though, we also see tons of false positives when it comes to the YouTube automated moderation system. I have gotten so many false strikes on my channel. Some of the funniest false strikes have been claimed to be because of hate speech, and it usually turns out it's because I was covering a large conservative channel that's like very monetized, very unstruck, very popular, but I don't have the level of popularity, sub count, and income that they're making to shield me from the moderator bots, so their content playing in my video gets me striked as if I was the one saying what they're saying, but they don't get in trouble. YouTube has been rampant and rife with that problem, particularly affecting smaller lefty creators in particular. And unfortunately, one of the most recent, although not really that recent considering he's been dealing with this shit for two months now, um, one of the most recent victims of this here on the online left to deal with this problem is a friend of the channel, Dylan Burns. You see, Dylan has, you know, you might know him because he's done a lot of on the ground, like, coverage of what's happening in Ukraine and whatnot. Um, he has had some problems with YouTube in the past, but the fact that he does war coverage and news videos means that YouTube's bots and algorithms are very, very inclined to throw up false flags on him. And just a couple months ago, he was fully demonetized on YouTube because of claims that his content was harmful or hateful. He just put out a tweet today saying that after a review from YouTube he was able to do, after two months, uh, that they claim that despite patiently waiting the entire 90 days to reapply, our channel faced swift rejection following a, or three months, following a full review. The claim of, quote, harmful or hateful, parentheses, not harassment content, uh, prohibits reapplication until April 15th, 2024, seeking clarification and answers from YouTube. This is simply through and through a false positive on YouTube's part. They have just outright made a mistake and continue to double down on it. There's really nothing else I can say. Like, like, I don't know what else to call it. It's just simply a mistake. YouTube has not fixed it. And Dylan has missed out on months of income from YouTube due to a complete error. He hasn't made a new video to like talk about the situation uh, after the rejection for his appeal, but here I have his video from two months ago when he was, or three months ago, when he originally had his channel demonetized. We're not going to watch the whole thing, obviously, and you better fucking believe I'm dropping the original link in chat for you guys to go drop some support on, though obviously he won't make ad revenue money off of it, but hey, you know, go go support him anyway, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 it's, it's a form, it, it helps, okay? It helps. I dropped a like and, and all that stuff. I'm already subbed, but I dropped a like. Anyway. Let's, let's oh. go. Apparently full screening it means I want it to play. Thanks, YouTube. Anyway, I've got uh, the video up here, and I guess it, we ought to hear Dylan's side of what happened here with YouTube, because... You know, the sight be fucked. Do I hear dogs in the background, or are my headphones being weird? There is a dog outside barking. Uh, not in my house, and not, like, in the background, but, like, there is a dog outside barking. Let's let's go through the little bit of information that I do have, and then I'm going to tell you guys our options, because I, you know, there's not many options left. I've already submitted the appeal, and they've rejected the appeal. 
For the record, by the way, guys, I had a... So, all right, let me give you guys like a little bit of an anal... Not an analogy, an example from my channel, okay? All the way back in 2019, not even joking, in 2019, I got my first ever false strike from YouTube. I was covering a video by Geeks and Gamers where he was obsessed with Brie Larson, like another one of his Brie Larson videos. I was making fun of him. The stream VOD went up, and then a few hours later, the stream VOD got striked for harassment. Or no, it was misinformation or spam is what it claimed. So I requested a review. They immediately came back five minutes later. The stream VOD is two hours long, by the way. They came back five minutes later and said, after careful review, we determined your content did break our community guidelines. Not on sp uh, spam or misinformation, though. Instead, on hate speech. They changed the reason I had gotten striked in their reaffirmation that I was striked to the reason being hate speech. I was making fun of hate speech, but okay, apparently it's hate speech to dunk on neckbeard right-wing chuds, supposedly. Um, at this point, I literally couldn't request any more appeals or anything. So, since that was my first strike, I had fully lost my warning so when you go to the youtube analytics page normally it just shows you like a nice clean page of your youtube analytics but if you have a strike there's this big ugly mark on your analytics page that's just there showing one out of three or like zero out of three or whatever it is strikes or one warning out of uh, three strikes just like stamped onto your analytics page and it's like super annoying and in the way right it's not fun being there and it just kind of puts you down to even see it when you click on your analytics page um and i could never get rid of it only three strikes well you have a warning and then two strikes after two strikes you're literally banned for a month from uploading or streaming and then if you come back after a month and manage to get a consecutive technically fourth strike you're out but you never get your warning back no matter whatever um like no matter how much time passes so like if you've lost your warning and you're like back to good standing besides not having your warning then it's three strikes and you're out but technically four strikes and you're out um it, it, yeah eh, it's complicated how they do it but you have more chances than three anyway um this isn't even a strike situation this is just youtube demonetizing him like and just leaving it at that but regardless for multiple years literally up until late last year I had this strike, this lost warning on my channel with that permanent ugly stamp on my analytics page, and I could never get rid of it. Eventually, I just got bored, and me and Cherry just started adding YouTube once a week with a pre-written message asking YouTube to take a look at the video and handle it, because that tends to work. And eventually, they responded. Actually, no, I woke up one morning from like, a bunch of messages from Cherry in all caps, and Cherry was like, Zan, Zan, check YouTube analytics. YouTube got rid of the strike. YouTube got rid of the strike. I was like, no way. And I went in there, and sure enough, it was gone. I had an email from YouTube confirming the strike was false. I had the reply on, on Twitter uh, from, from the most recent tweet out at Team YouTube saying the strike was false, and they fixed it. Even if it takes a couple years, if you keep spamming their helpline, eventually, by sheer luck, like gambling, a real human will actually look at your YouTube channel, see you've done nothing wrong, and fix your problem. It takes constant trying. You have to annoy them and pester them nonstop. Just know that most of the time when you're annoying them and pestering them, it's robots, and the one time you get a human, that's when you've won is when you finally get a human. Um, that's really my best advice for Dylan here, is to just set up, like, write out a tweet to at Team YouTube and set, like, indefinitely one-week scheduled tweets on Twitter to go out adding Team YouTube, explaining the problem and, and linking everything you need for them to actually do something. Otherwise... If it's not specific enough, they reply asking for more details. You reply with more details. You never get a follow-up reply, usually. So, um, yeah, just uh, make sure you include as many details as you can fit in that, like, pre-written reply. Set, like, schedule them to go out every single week, or if you're real crazy, daily. But that might make them block you. I would go weekly. And uh, it will work. Eventually, they will handle it. 
You just have to include enough details in your one tweet so you don't have to be like awake or at your computer to reply to them when they do um, for, with more info because that's always annoying when you like check your PC six hours later and they replied, but you're like really late and you're, they never reply back because you took so long. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I would recommend to Dylan, but let's check out his video. And of course, a big recommendation to you guys is to go send support to Dylan and his Twitter especially following him on Twitter so that you guys can like help him boost the, his tweets and get the attention of team YouTube. Because frankly, Twitter is the only avenue through which this problem is going to be solved as much as I hate to admit it. So I'll tell you guys what we do know. A few days ago, I think it was like three days ago at this point, it should be on my Burns main account. Immoral, By the way, morally I get questions about this. Man. Oh, thank you so much, Pure Copia, for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. I get messages about this i don't See, this is why i don't have like loud obtrusive intrusive dono alerts because they interrupt you when you're making a point i feel like th i feel like loud intrusive dono alerts make a bit of like they kind of ruin the watching experience for a lot of people so even if it means i make a lot less money by not having funny dono alerts that like people want to spam um you know i i think it it makes the content better in the long run I don't mind it that much. It's just, it's a little thing that I prefer to do. I, I just, whenever I see a streamer that does have the really obtrusive, intrusive alerts like Dylan or like Destiny, it's always like, huh, that is a type of streaming I could possibly do. And I probably wouldn't succeed at it because I would get distracted constantly. Don't manage this account. This account is managed by Danabo, who's my editor slash manager. I don't know if I'm going to use the word manager. There's, there's not many, um, you know, big top ticket like Piers Morgan appearances that needed to be managed, but mostly editing and social media management, right? He helps, he helps, he's the guy that helps. And so sometimes he'll he'll post like some weird stuff on here. He'll post stuff on here <laughs> that I don't approve of, and I didn't endorse without That's my permission. Well, I did I like this, I did like this paste. I, this, I didn't endorse this when it went out, but it is funny. I don't endorse this, okay? But okay. Here's the original post that we got. We got it two days ago. They told us that we're no longer able to earn money because of harassment. We're harassers, guys. We're big bullies. We're like the 4chan. We're, we, we're like 4chan over here at Dylan Birds TV. The hacker uh, they 4chan. They didn't tell us anything else outside of the fact that we had violated their harassment policies. And when I say they didn't tell us anything else, they just said that we had violated harassment policies. They didn't give us any examples. They didn't give us any video links. They didn't tell Tequila us- Tequila underscore sunset has donated $5. Hey. Sorry, YouTube is screwing your channel. Fosh shouted out your Patreon today, so hopefully you at least get a hey, couple new really patrons. that's really helpful, man. That oh, is yeah. unironically helpful. The only reason I'm not gonna, like, immediately go under and have to, like, become, like, a 7-Eleven cashier or something, not diminishing Dizinky the job. Dizinky got a tier 1 subscription. Asterisk Dizinky asterisk got an asterisk tier 1 asterisk subscription. The only real reason I'm not going into the illegal arms trade and getting with my, my boys in Kosovo again, uh, not that I ever have, but the only reason why is because I have the Patreon and that there are people Burns financing that so I can finance myself. But again, this doesn't just affect me. This also with Okay, well, yeah, go go support Dylan Burns' Patreon. Yeah, if you want to support Dylan Burns in these trying times considering YouTube's fucking him, uh, yeah, go, go to his Patreon, it seems. That seems to be where, like, a lot of the support, the best way to support him is. Affects Danabo, who you know, should be rewarded for his labor on the channel. And if this holds, we might have to negotiate a new contract. He can't do it by percentages Burns anymore. In, and I'll just have to pay him out of pocket, corrupt, which obviously is not man. something I can do in the long term. It's just not sustainable with all these trips and war zones, paying out of pocket for two editors, because they already do it by progressive. It's just, That's it's just true. not Who financially editors? feasible. Damn. Xenogene has donated $20. I feel so harassed. Stop being so harassing. I'll never stop. You know, I was raised by my grandparents. I'm of my grandfather's generation. Okay, I still use words like broad, but anyway, soaring Trump. Thank you for the tier. I like that Dylan's taking the situation well. He's able to joke about it, but it's it's a really seriously fucked up thing that he's going through. To be completely like real with you here, like this is a dude who's been shelled by Russians in order to like cover war crimes being committed by like superpowers across the world from where he lives. Okay, this is a guy who has like risked his life to get information in front of people and to use YouTube and Twitch and his platform on these websites to do good. And YouTube is punishing him for it. it. It's really shameful to me. I really want you guys to go send support to Dylan. YouTube is fucking garbage when it comes to this. They've claimed that he is no longer eligible for gaining any income through their platform because supposedly he is a harasser. 
He is not a harasser. None of his content constitutes anything remotely harassment adjacent. And um, yeah, like I, I am sending you guys as the cavalry to back up our boy Dylan. Nothing will stop this or nothing will fix this, I should say, other than relentless harassment of YouTube, Team YouTube, at Team YouTube on Twitter, to get them to fix this. They will double down over and over again. Doesn't matter. Keep adding them. They are wrong, and eventually they will admit they are wrong and fix it. They always do. They always fucking do. If you know you did nothing wrong to break the TOS, you will eventually get unstruck and you will know for a fact you were right the whole time wording zan youtube might say you're a harasser too Ooh, now trust me there's no like intent behind any of this by the way it's just the way that the algorithms are weighted is in such that smaller channels are probably more likely to get striked simply because smaller channels are more likely to be something that is flying under the radar with some really fucked up shit on it, right? Like, isn't there, like, a massive epidemic of, like, animal torture videos on YouTube that have, like, a few thousand views each, but they're a pretty big population of videos. There's a huge community of this, but they fly under the radar with YouTube because it just doesn't get seen. Same goes for, like, the nude yoga stuff, which is technically a YouTube loophole that I imagine... You know, it's probably just not getting a lot of attention from YouTube. A lot of this stuff is just the platform's so big, even with thousands of employees, there's not enough people to moderate everything. And so the algorithms are weighted to more heavily um, penalize smaller channels that make YouTube less money because they're less trustworthy for being less popular in YouTube's eyes. And if they do get falsely striked down or demonetized, we're not losing off uh, up. We're not losing out on that much money, right? At least that's what YouTube's thinking, which means you basically have to harass them until a real person who gives a fuck happens to be at the computer checking the ads on the Team YouTube account when they, you know, get that notification. The concerns about small Nazi channels during Adpocalypse were not completely unfounded. Oh, of course, yeah, there's tons of small Nazi channels too. Um, it's just that right now YouTube is also YouTube is currently under new management. The current like CEO of YouTube is not Susan Wojcicki or whatever her name was. It's like some NFT loving crypto bro guy, right? Like, isn't the current YouTube CEO like a massive piece of shit? So yeah, th there's also been a change of management at YouTube, which could also play a big part in how shoddily run the moderation has been lately. He's a friend of Elon's. Oh boy. Isn't that great news?